All right, everyone, welcome to our presentation. Now let's get started. So we have been there before when we have a project due next week, but you tell yourself that, oh, you have time, or you're trying to lose some weight, but that one piece of chocolate is so good, you tell yourself just one more bite, or we have that pile of clothes in your room for that one chair, and you tell yourself, oh, I will do it tomorrow. But guess what? That's called procrastination, and we're here to help you guys fix that. Well, hello, everyone. We're Scaventure, and we're here to introduce Golaco. So during our research and survey, we found that procrastination is linked to mental health. According to Pierre Steele, he stated that 95% people admit to putting off work, basically meaning everyone in this meeting are procrastinators. Well, the cost, and in, in addition to that, the cost of procrastinator, procrastinator far outweighed the temporary benefits. This means that the longer time you prolong your task, you will experience high anxiety when the deadline approaches. And when we surveyed student admission college, we found that about 43% students want to improve on their mental health the most. Why? Because you can see that procrastination is definitely affecting their mental health. And another problem we found is that motivation problem. Well, there are two types of motivation, just extrinsic and intrinsic. Extrinsic is meaning that you are doing, you're motivated to do, a prop, to do a task when there is an external reward. Whereas intrinsic is when you do a task because you're feeling, because you like to do it, it pleases yourself. Well, as students, when we do homework, it's not very fun. Usually those, those um, homework always give us this type, this emotion such as they're boring, they're difficult, and the instructions are not very clear. So therefore we don't really want to start doing Doing those homework and in addition to that when we look at our survey our data 64 students admit to have to admit that they have pro procrastination problem well another problem we also found is that students have a hard time to commit a task meaning that they can't they're not they don't really hold this out accountable well during our interview the students actually told us that they actually prefer working with another student and while working with another student, it motivates them to do it because they're working towards one goal well according to dr Mura, murayama I quote, even if you initially did not like mathematics, observing your friend enjoy mathematics repeatedly may create a fixed internal reward, making you feel as if you also like math mathematics, and we call this motivation contagion. Well, for our targeted user, we're targeting students who are, especially in, during this quarantine time, who are trying to be organized at home, or students are falling to procrastination due to online school they're not used to, or feeling unmotivated. Well, for our design, we have three things in mind. We want to be engaging. We want them to be actually start um, using the app and make the, they be able to um, personalize their tasks and break it down into manageable tasks. Also user-friendly, since procrastination takes a lot of time and effort, we want an app that you can ready to use right away, not, not, not a lot of complication and it's just a simple design. And finally, the social aspect. We want to create a community where they are able to interact with each, each other, share their accomplishment, be able to have a sense of confidence and also be able to have the momentum to start accomplishing their goals that they set for themselves. Now I will introduce the app Golaco. In order to keep our app user friendly, we decided to use colorful color palettes rather than dark color palettes. And for the icons, we created a minimalistic design for each of the icons so that users can easily recognize them uh, recognize what they represent. Here is a sneak peek of our app in Wireframe. On to the main features. When, the, when a user opens up um, Golaco, they'll be greeted to the central hub where, where they can see a goal display which showcases all their goals and tasks. And it provides progression information and gives them a feeling of pride and accomplishment. Uh, progress is displayed through the progress rings, which are colorful and engaging. Each of the rings are separated into three sections, with the top row being the uh, long-term goals, middle row being the short-term goals, and bottom row being the uh, completed goals. Once they, once they click on a goal, they can view more onto what steps they need to do to complete the goal, and they can uh, make progress into their goal. They could even edit their goal in case they want to extend it a little more to increase ambition or change the step requirements. To create a goal, we, we wanted the users to have the option to make a short-term or long-term goal. And we also wanted users to either keep their goals public or private, it's their choice. In case a user does not know how to search for a goal, they can use the goal guides feature to search for uh, user-created goals on the um, search in our search place or they can get a randomly selected goal. 
Uh, Golaco's motivational notifications ensure daily activity from our users and create a feeling of progression. Um, we want our users to start have a positive day with a more uh, to start a positive day with morning encouragement, and maybe even get a daily goal suggestion, like maybe try to learn an hour of JavaScript today. Uh, our player profiles uh, showcase a customizable and personalized um, bio for each of our users, where they can uh, add add their badges to show their previously uh, previously achieved accomplishments, or they can make friends. Once they make friends, they can go to the field where they can actually view other people's completed goals so that we can all cheer each other on or maybe even get inspired to complete the same goals or ask for advice. We want our users to be creative. So we, uh, we wanted them to be able to share images so that they can share their projects with the world. I will now move on to a uh, concept demo. Uh, when a user opens up their phone, they will see this screen where they can actually uh, see their notifications and when they can click on a notification to open the Galaco app and maybe sign in. Uh, once they're inside the app, they can actually uh, open up a goal to see how far they are in progressing their goal. Or maybe look back at an old completed goal to maybe get a little bit of a motivational boost. They can even add another goal through the, through the plus icon on the top right. Here they can put their criteria or add uh, or search for another goal created by other users. Every Golaco user has, a, has their own personalized profile with a custom bio where they can showcase their previously accomplished achievements. And every time they complete a goal, they can choose to share it to the feed with other users. Uh, we also have a website in development. Uh, we plan to finish the website and host it on Netlify. And then in the future, we hope to release the App versions on the App Store and the Play Store. Golaco is currently being developed on React, and we are using uh, Firebase uh, to hold our data and Material UI to create all the UI components. Uh, here's what we have so far on our website. On the far left, you can see our goals. Uh, you can see the progress bar, a little description of what your goal is. In the middle, you can see a little feed showing your friends and their accomplished goals. You can either like or share their goals. And on the far right, you can see a, um, how we would add uh, a new goal to your goals. Our competitors are Habitica and Habit Tracker. Uh, as you can see, these two apps are missing some components, such as the long and short term goals. Uh, they mainly focus on a day-to-day -day schedule where, for example, you'd have your grocery list and what you would do for each day. And then uh, we found that Habitica was a bit complex to get through as it's focused on uh, video games. And the habit tracker doesn't have a social aspect to it where you could see other people's goals or share. But the Golaco app has all four components and is therefore uh, better. We wanted to monetize our app using themes, such as soccer or basketball, where the backgrounds would change and the icons would correspond to which theme you choose. Also, uh, weekly sponsors, such as Nike, which would host like a global uh, challenge for the community. And upon, fin upon finishing the uh, challenge, they would like announce maybe like a new sneaker or something new. Uh, what we learned from this is uh, the human-centered design, uh, how we use React to make the website, and, that, and then how we made the app, also how to research and make interviews and realize how motivation and goals are important. Thank you. And please check out our demos.